After saying their goodbyes, Class 7 left those, uh, wait, left those at the Twin Dragons Bridge behind. As for Lieutenant General Craig's suggestion, they chose to stop by the newly liberated Keldic. And while the Courageous was being resupplied, they decided to walk around and check up on the townsfolk. Keldic stopover day. Huh, and we just standing in the plaza. Well, we should be all set on supplies for now. Townsfolk all seem pretty relieved that the provincial army's gone too. I'm so glad everything went well. We still have some time uh, until we have to leave. I know Becky and Rosine are somewhere around here. Maybe I should catch up with them. Kinda curious what the rest of the gang is up to too. Yep, 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 yep. Bonding points which can be used to trigger bonding events will be allocated to you on stopover days. Advance the story, choose to board the courageous at the eastern exit. Okay. Okay. Let's see how much I'm going to dread having to pick and choose. For the duration of the stop day, Kellex town map it can be accessed by pressing the tab key. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. <laughs> No! We went from 7 out of 14 possible to 5 out of 12? Oh my god. Really makes me wish that I was playing, like, at release so I can, like, have the time to afford- or I can afford the time to a new game plus this shit. Oh my god, what do you mean not to choose? <laughs> I mean, of course, this is going to be the thing for every single bonding day, but... Oh my god, like, at least, like... At least give me more than half to work with! Oh my god... The imbalance here is crazy. So wait, who's thing updated? Ah, uh, Instructor, or Major uh, Nightheart. Also an old friend of Elliot's sister. Oh boy. Alright, where... Oh man, where do we start talking? Okay, you know what? Let's go... Let's just go take it... From all the way here. And then just... Kind of sweep our way around the Grand Market. And then all the way at the chapel. Actually, can we go outside here? Focus on getting some rest right now. Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay, so I'll talk to all the NPCs. Then I'll talk to... Uh, what was it? Rosina and Becky. And then we'll decide on who we're going to... Commit our bond points with. <clears throat> I thought Becky cheered up, but she's been thinking... All oh, right, right. C country accent. Oh, I, I, I don't do. I can't do country accents. <laughs> uh, she's been thinking about a lot of stuff these days. She shut herself up in her room earlier and uh, has has not. <laughs> okay, it always feels weird reading that, but yeah, uh, hasn't come out since. Weird. What's she even doing? I thought. Oh, wait, no, same thing. Uh, okay. My well, husband's been acting very strangely lately. He's putting aside most of his pro or he's putting most of his profits aside for something. He's been ordering new goods with loan money too. I can't just fathom why he do something like this, especially with uh, times as hard as they are. I hope he doesn't think I haven't noticed what he's doing. I'm the one managing his finances, and he knows it. I just wish I knew what he was thinking. It's so unlike him to take on a debt at a time like this. Taking on a debt during wartime? Huh. We'll be stationing ourselves here in Keldic from now on. We owe your gratitude as well. Thanks to your help, we now have extra supplies from the Twin Dragons Bridge as well as those provided to us from here. 
I've gone and conducted a thorough inspection of the town. It's definitely too small a station and armor unit here, though doing so may co may have caused uh, unrest either way. As such, our job here in Celtic will be will simply be to maintain public order. We'll also be working closely with the RMP to prevent any and all attacks coming from Trista. Oh, hello there. I heard all about your work at the Twin Dragons Bridge. The provincial army uh, gave Celtic up without uh, without much of a fight, which is surprising. The fact that it's an important location in the railway system means that losing it must have been a rather big hit. Who knows? Maybe this will serve as a big step, a uh, big step towards bringing the civil war to an end. Celtic may be, or Celtic being in our hands means we'll be able to use part of the railway system now. Chances are the RMP will be busier than ever thanks to that. With the provincial army, or well, while the provincial army may have retreated, they did so with most of their firepower intact. We'll have to keep our guard up. But for now, our main priority is to maintain the public order in Celtic. You're all from Thor's, right? Good work back there. Many of us in the 4th Armored Division cared dearly for Fiona. Can't thank you enough for rescuing her. It took all of our willpower to contain uh, our anger over her being taken hostage, truth be told. Snapping others, even if, they're sim even if they are related to a military officer, simply cannot be forgiven. Fiona's akin to family for many of us. Can't thank you enough for rescuing her. Uh, the 4th Armored Division is currently using this guardhouse as a base of operations. There's sensitive information inside, so I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to turn back. Huh. Better than being rudely turned back when the provincial army was here. This guardhouse now under the command of the 4th Armored Division. We've taken the liberty of replacing uh, the provincial army flags with our own. Based on my observations, it's not an especially impressive base of operations. Still, our role here in Celtic is to maintain public order, so it should serve us well enough in that regard. to the boy. Looks like the next Imperial Chronicle is going to be uh, all about the Imperial Army taking over, this, taking over the Twin Dragons Bridge. Yeah, let's see how they'll downplay this. Oh man. The problem is whether or not I'm going to actually get my hands on that issue. Dang it, when are they going to get the train schedules back to normal? If they don't get their butts in gear suit, my business is done for. You know, I don't think the Imperial Chronicle will be willing to ship their newspapers into Imperial Army territory now, given their biases. I don't even give a damn about this war. I'm gonna be out of business without anything to sell. Hmm, maybe I don't, uh, might know some way to get the Chronicle in. I'll have to ask. You really want to bring in the Chronicle to a town that's been liberated by the Imperial Army? Well, I mean, at least the uh, citizens will get some information about the current goings-on with the rest of the Empire, but they'll be so fucking one-sided, it's like, what a load of shit. Well, hopefully they'll be like, what a load of shit, but... Oh, if it isn't the hard workers from Thor's. I hear you were quite busy today. But I must say, I nearly had a heart attack when I heard you'd be taking on those soldats. I hope none of you got hurt. We're all fine. It's good to see that you're looking well, too. We heard that the provincial army retreated without much of an issue. Oh, indeed. They left in a, a flurried panic. Uh, no harm came to the townsfolk during that. I can't really thank you enough for what you've done for this town. <laughs> it never would have been possible without all the support we received. And yet this peace wouldn't have been possible in the first place without you. The townsfolk are uh, ecstatic about, about all this. Please, make yourselves at home here during your stay. It's the least we can do to show our gratitude. Thank you, sir. We'll do just that. Allow me to thank you all once more. Granted, not everything's been resolved. There's a number of issues we still have to iron out with the other parties. There's no need to concern yourselves with that, however. We'd like you to take this opportunity to relax while you can. Uh, let's see. <sighs> oh! Let me take a look at this dress. Ah! That's cute. Oh, lens. Oh man, they just decided to leave me in charge of preparing important documents out of nowhere. Right, calm down, first priority is, make, is making sure I got everything together before the market manager heads out. These, these negotiations will have a huge impact on Keldic, so I need to be on the ball here. If I can successfully handle this, I'll be one step closer to becoming a proper merchant. Let's do this. Keldic's now effectively removed from Duke Alborea's rule. Considering he was the one who collected uh, taxes and enforced the law, all that's up in the air right now. We'll need to decide on how to handle things for ourselves, or there will be problems down the line. 
The most pressing problem is how the railway will operate from here on out. Otto's, or Otto plans on holding negotiations regarding that. I still need to get everything. Uh, I still need to get everything ready for him, actually. The Noble Alliance holds both Heimdall and Boreahard under its control. It's still uncertain whether or not we'll be able to get the trains up and running like they used to. We'll do everything we can, though, for the sake of the town and its people. All right. What about you, old lady? I heard about the provincial armies a crushing defeat. It was almost impressive just how quickly and efficiently they fled. I can't believe they're the same people who spent all day boasting about their accomplishments. Simply despicable, I say. It doesn't really matter which army takes up residence here in the end, but it doesn't know how the provincial army could talk the talk but not walk the walk. Alright. It's been a while since I did business on the Grand Market. I'm beat. Times like this make me want to brew up a nice cappuccino. Sit back and relax. Speaking of, I can teach you the tricks of making a mean cappuccino if you like. Comforting cappuccino. I tried doing some business over at the Trin Dragon's Bridge Inn, but that didn't pan out too well in the end. Maybe because I or doing so relied on the Transcontinental Railroad being restored, which won't be happening anytime soon. Yes, it worked on the end though. Since I caught wind of some sort of military scuffle taking place there. Oh. <clears throat> I'm a bit disappointed uh, things didn't work out, but I should consider myself lucky that I left before that mess went down. Uh, my biggest concern right now is the fact that I can't get my hands on uh, Eastern Spices anymore. Hmm. Maybe I should have, Maybe I... Or I might have to consult with uh, Otto on what to sell in their place. Bitter juice. A very healthy 100% vegetable juice that's intensely bitter. Man, you really don't have much here, do you? Uh, this stuff really is a mystery to me. But today is the day. It's time to figure out whether or not, uh, figure out whether the stuff here is worth buying or not. Let's see, a knife designed for mincing and an oval corkscrew. Can't tell if I if I be getting my money's worth with these. Oh my god. It's hard to tell whether or not I'd be getting my money's worth for the stuff here. Uh, my sense of value is all muddled up again. Hey there, take a look at this razor that's been fitted with an alarm clock! You'll be waking up and looking sharp with it- Who- Who asked for this? Who would want an alarm clock razor? Or razor alarm clock? Nothing for your alarm is here to replace those provincial army troublemakers, huh? They don't seem like a rowdy bunch, which is fortunate. Maybe I'll finally get some business done. Doesn't seem like the Imperial Army troops will be giving, any, giving me any hassle, which is a relief. We've got youngsters like you visiting, so this might be prime time to get some business done. <gasps> Double Jack! Oh, hey, I can actually buy the, uh... Dude, this is so much better than... Actually, well, actually, no, 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 no. Now that we actually have new material farming now... I guess I should waste my money on this. Silver emblem. Nah, I don't think I'll be spending any more money there. All right, troops. I heard about uh, all about your little rescue mission. I can't believe you even chased off uh, those provincial army uh, bump pods. Pure brilliant. If you need any food, I'm your man. I'm throwing uh, something extra, for, extra special for you. <laughs> I could have. Uh, I cannot say uh, much while the while they were here, but the provincial arms really, or the provincial army really were making life hell for all of us. So I, ah, cheers for sorting them out. We really owe you one. Actually, are you actually gonna give me anything if I buy something? Nah. <laughs> I was like, I, I bought, a, I bought a, like a thing of salt. What's my extra special reward, sir? Or bonus, I mean. Step right up, folks. We got another big sale going on today as well. And just in case you didn't feel like those prices are enough of a steal, here you go. A bit of goodwill on my part. Ooh! Gambler Jack! Hell yeah. Oh, wait. Did I read Gambler Jack last time? Oh, I don't think I read... Did I read Chapter 8? Oh, no, 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 I don't think I... Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I, did, I forgot to reach out to A from last session, I think. Uh... Yeah, I don't really give a shit about any of this. Oh yeah, Elliot's chilling here. Hmm. The war seems to be moving in a somewhat different direction now. Some may be under the impression that the Nova Alliance will make up for this loss with ease, but... My gut tells me it's going to have a considerable effect on things down the line. Follow my merchant's intuition, if you will. Ho oh, oh. ho. Duke Alvarez has a tendency to be overly confident in his own supremacy. He is not likely to consider this a threat to the noble, to the Alliance's dominance, but that in itself may be his own, un own undoing. Andre! <laughs> I can see in your eyes, young ones. You're questioning my presence here, are you not? Yes! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here still? There's no need for surprise, though. Those who have a passion for freedom are guided by love itself. And now the time has come to heal the downtrodden citizens of Kellogg with my soothing melody. I insist that you all listen as well. Let us thank Adios for allowing us to be here on this day. Now lend an ear as I offer up a most graceful melody of her or for her. Uh, honey fact time. It's a common misconception that bees make honey similar to gathering the nectar together from different flowers. But there's more to it than that. Once the nectar is gathered, the bees pass it to one another uh, while chewing it until it finally turns into honey. This unique process makes uh, honey a product we humans can never make on our own. Aren't bees amazing? I really was quite the funny sight earlier. I, didn't, I don't think I'll ever see the provincial army turn tails so quickly before. In fact, they were so fast I could have mistaken them for a swarm of bees returning to their nest. Wow. President Toa here. Or Student Council President Toa. Actually, uh, who do I want to read? Because, like, I don't think we'll get too many opportunities to read, like, Toa, to read Princess Alfin. So I think those two for sure. Instruct is Sarah because I'm biased. So that leaves two out of the rest of the bunch here. So, ugh. And you know my biases, I think the boys are going to get left behind, unfortunately. <laughs> Although, if any one of the boys here, or just anyone leaves like a strong enough impression on me with their bond scene, then I'll then I'll consider pick, or then I'll probably end up picking them uh, if it's like a good enough read. E either like, wait, what was it? Like either a very serious bond scene with like actual character development. Or like, I guess, meaningful development, or something incredibly funny. But we'll have to see. I'm surprised at, uh, at the stark difference between the Imperial and Provincial Army. They're even going around asking if there's anything they can do to help us. Huh? I guess their forms are, really are a more amicable or uh, amiable. Yeah, amiable faction after all. Never really, I've never really actively supported either faction yet, but. Seeing them at work really has made me want to support the reformists. For the people. Of course, the instructor starts drinking. <laughs> oh, well, or welcome everyone. I heard all about how you fought those soul at the Twin Dragons Bridge. I can't believe you managed to take those things on. Amazing. Everything is on, everything is on us today. So go talk to Margot if you want something. Seems like Sarah had a big part in the battle as well. <laughs> it's funny when you compare how she is, uh, usually, or how she usually is, or, wait, yeah. She usually is, uh, to how she is on the job, isn't it? Guess I'll keep her company while she's drinking today. While we may be under the Imperial Army's jurisdiction now, why make army concerns still get in the rear? <clears throat> Got my, my throat is going now. Blech. Are my concerns still getting the railroad back to normal? To that end, we'll have to deal with both the provincial and imperial army. It's about as difficult as this sounds, too. We'll need some way of hand uh, to handle this effectively. Little did they know it involved flipping uh, Luisa's skirt. Oh man, stop! Oh yo, you can't just mess around because uh, you're struggling for ideas. Get those gears turning for the town's sake. <laughs> How brazen of me! 
my god. Uh, whether or not he's just joking or just like trying to lighten up the mood or just some random. I don't know, that's not. No. I see you're doing well as ever, Squaro. I could say the same to you. Focusing on selling daily necessities is certainly a certainly a sound plan. You've even set your price as well. I just went with my gut for the most part. Wasn't expecting to make qu uh, quite as much, quite this much, <clears throat> quite this much from it though. Maybe I was just born with it. Uh, I hate to admit it, but she's right. Most merchants couldn't get uh, couldn't get by being quite that careless. Seems like Squire was gathering up uh, info and using that to make his profits. He told me some pretty interesting stuff too. Well, uh, we'll see if it comes in handy when I get my next batch of goods in. I'm pleased to see that Maurice is doing well for herself. I'll have to pick up the pace if I want to catch up to her. Better make the most of my upcoming business meeting. Oh, oh, here they are. The heroes who conquered the Twin Dragons Bridge themselves. Oh, thanks, but heroes might be overdoing it. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Here's all some credit, though. It's thanks to you. <clears throat> it's thanks to you that the provincial army's gone. We really owe you one. And it's not much, but here, this one's on the house. Tomato stew! <laughs> thanks, ma'am. It looks delicious. It'd be rude not to accept it after she took the time to make it. Seems like you played a big role over at the Twin Dragons Bridge. Uh, Twin Dragons Br Bridge too, Sarah. You've all uh, you've made me all proud. I guess the best way to reward you is with a drink, right? Now you're talking. Bring on the booze. Try not to drink yourself into oblivion. Uh, the armored division's captain came over to greet us earlier. I'm not too familiar with the Imperial Army, but he seemed like a nice enough man. Maybe things will be peaceful again. Thanks again for everything, and good luck with whatever else you got. You've got planned. Eh, nothing really much. Oh wait, isn't... Anton! Oh, I went all the way to Grelia Fortress and I still couldn't find any clues. Where are you, Ricky? Green. Green. We have access, we have the ability to bring Anton to Ricky now. I'm sure one quick lift wouldn't be that much of a bother. I'm not giving up on you, Ricky. You're my one and only best friend and I'm gonna find you. Okay. <sighs> hey, people, noise levels, uh, uh, noise levels uh, down a little, please. Can't try to sleep here. Look at the hooting and hollering, you think the war is over. Well, they were just freed from a brutal tyrant. Let them have their moment. It's not like we're using today for anything but rest, right? I guess things did turn out okay. You guys mesh pretty well with Alamar. Or with, with, with Alamar too, so try to keep that up for next time. But don't do anything too crazy, got it? Sleeping Beauty uh, over there is off, out for the count. Emma wandered off somewhere looking very solemn though. Or solemn too. Oh, well, that's none of my business. I'm just gonna sleep until we leave. Huh. Alright, who else do we gotta talk to? Let's see, Oba Factory, the kids, and probably Rosine at the chapel. Yeah. Hello? Huh, we have a like a. Oh no, that means we have a little side quest for for Becky. Oh, Maki's over here. Why is Maki just looking at uh, swords of all things? You'd think he'd be looking at... There's nothing but swords here, isn't it? Oh. Here's the provincial army left while I was busy working. Not that it matters around here. Otto's the only man who represents this town in our books. We don't need no provincial army or noble uh, alliance. Never have, never will. No, don't matter to us that the provincial provincial army's gone or not. We'll do things the way we always have. But what else would you expect uh, from some blacksmith out in the boonies? Huh. Oh. Are we actually on? Wait. No, we're not on new tier stuff right now, right? 
No. I don't know, I never bothered upgrading... Uh, Elisa, because it's just not worth it. Uh. And yeah, there's no Dark Pendulum or anything. Alright. Thanks to the Courageous, we landed our first big deal in a while. We'll be helping to resupply it. Great news, right? Huh, not, er, not if you're my old man. He's not really into the, the idea of profiting off a big deal like this. He's gonna have to learn a bit of flexibility one of these days, or we'll really get in trouble. That was impressive how my old man continually seems to deny that we are in fact a business. Which means it's all on me to make sure we actually turn a profit. Although that is a 10% crit. Uh, do I have the materials? I do. Huh, how did I never make the bow for Elisa? Eh, you know what, sure. Might as well. Uh, no, that's all sorted out. Uh, I'll hold off on slot upgrades for now. Also, we haven't seen any new, uh, paint jobs around here. Uh, I guess that would only be- would that only be on... Uh, the Courageous? Oh, no. It was scary watching all those soldiers pass by. And then Jake apparently couldn't pass up the opportunity to put dirt in my shoes. He, re he really will take any chance he get- what the fuck, dude? Get back here, Jake! Kitty! I gotta admit that Susie's getting good these days. Those soldiers scared her real good though, so she's still got a long way to go before she can avoid being pranked. <laughs> you should have seen her face when she noticed. Boy, not during wartime! I found about a whole bunch and now I get why Jake and Susie argue so much. They're probably bitter rivals in a past life. Ah. Huh? And now they're destined to clash forever. That has to be it. They'd never argue uh, so much if it weren't. I know I'm right about this. I have proof. I've only ever seen them argue. Ah. Yes. I don't think anything can refute that, Mina. So Milliam's here. Yeah, Razine's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to talk to her later. Oh, Milliam. I wonder what Milliam's doing hanging out in the... In the chapel of all places. A lot of us are having trouble coming to terms with no longer being under Duke Alvarez's rule. The Alvarez family's been in charge of this town for a long, long time after all. That's why we're all so uncomfortable about it. Nobody has any idea how this is going to how uh, this is going to change things. I just hope things will be peaceful for Kira now. We have no way of knowing uh, what will change now that Duke Alvarez is no longer in, in control. Rosine recently started on started learning how to make medicine. She's taken to it very well. I er er uh, taking to it very well, I should add. I believe she's already mastered the basics already. At this rate, it won't be long before we can leave her in charge of tending uh, to those coming in with minor injuries. Huh. Oh, I hope she says yes to uh coming on board, so we actually have like uh, infirmary for uh, the infirmary running. It's a it's a true relief that no harm came to the town after all that commotion. I can only imagine how many casualties would have emerged had the two armies clashed here. I'll be holding services so that the people can give their thanks to Adios and keep for keeping us all safe. I'm sure doing so will give a way to help ease the townsfolk's nerves. Everything happened so quickly that it's left a lot of people here feeling uneasy. Let us pray for those or for peace in the future, and thank Adios for protecting us all. Okay, so that should be all the NPCs. Yeah, now we just need to sort out... Uh... The thing with Rosine and Becky. And if anything, I'll try my best to remember to read, uh... What was it? Gambler Jack, Chapter 8 and 9 later. Because looking at the time, it is getting a little bit late. 
Actually, any line here about Calvex Station? No point in coming to the station if we can't use the trains? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty much about it. But yeah, I think I'll leave it here for tonight. I did say tonight would be relatively short-ish session. So now we'll have to decide later on whose bond scenes we're gonna commit with. Obviously we'll read through all of them like like usual. But now we'll have to see whose scenes are worth committing with. Whether or not I really like the scenes or really want to boost Link levels with everyone who's lagging behind. Namely, Usus, Gaius, <sighs> what was it? Usus and Gaius. Oh, actually, yeah, Usus and Gaius are like the biggest ones here that are trailing behind. Ugh. Although I am tempted for level 4 Link with Million, though. I am very tempted. Also, level 5 with Sarah. But I'll have to decide on that later. And yeah, once we sort all that out, should be good to go. And actually carry on with the rest of the game because I know it's been definitely quite a while since the last session like yeah roughly one week since the last cold steel session on stream but yeah mainly because I've been trying my best to grind out you materials but oh boy to grind out literally everything I need yeah, we're gonna have to take a little while to do this. Not to mention the amount of U-materials you need to convert your quartz up to the next tier. As well as... Uh, as well as other potential R-type. Or, uh, yeah, R-type quartz that might be worth upgrading for. Mainly anything regarding, like, speed and HP. But yeah, so I think I'll go leave it here for tonight, and we'll go continue... Yeah, we'll go continue more tomorrow. Oh, actually... Oh, wait. Uh, I got something that might put me out of commission for tomorrow. Although, no, it wouldn't really happen that fast. But uh, I'll talk about it once I close the game.